They don't pass the leader, so we can have him in a, like a, a very nice controlled group. Does he have green hair? Oh my god. What did you do to Jaime's ah. hair? What? What did you do to Jaime's hair? What? Is green? <laughs> yeah. Calvin, don't steal his food. I can feed you if you're hungry. Is this a good goat? Yeah, this is a really good goat. What do you rate him? Um, let's see. So I give him a nine. Um, do based off straight. Um, he's very entertaining. So the energy that he produces just by him being himself is is really exciting. And it's enjoying to watch. It's very, it's very, um, I enjoy it. He's a good goat. It's a good goat. So, you know what I mean? Have you caught that on camera they so we can expose him? They, they leave on, man. Expose me? What? Expose you. We are flawed as individuals, but never defeated by our mistakes. Don't let you ever forget it. Hey, he's spitting on the camera like, no, he's getting good camera that. time. Yeah, this is one of the homies. Straight up, one of the homies. How many years have you known this emu? Um, straight up, I'm gonna keep it 55th. I think it's like five years now. Damn, so you were two years old when you met him. Basically, ow, ow. So this is Achilles. Uh, he is a Nubian uh, goat. He's two months old. Um, so he's recently joined the family and we're really excited. As you can see, he's extremely friendly. Uh, loves people, loves other animals, so we got a really good Emu, start. Sorry. No, it's okay. We got a we got a really good start uh, with building a relationship with him. So he's extremely friendly. And he's been so much fun to have around. Um, we kept him actually at the house for about two weeks because he was being bottle fed. So that was a really fun and, and nice experience. One of my best friends. Her name is Sarah Clifford best in the industry she's an animal coordinator and she wanted to uh, donate Achille to us because she didn't have um, any more space in her facility so shout out to the Caesar Milan foundation uh, for actually being the, the amazing foundation the amazing it foundation is foundation it is to home and, and shelter all of these adopted animals all of these animals have um, a fulfillment and a purpose uh, which I think is amazing I've never seen a ranch 
uh, like this before. Uh, the animals here are treated amazing. I mean, they really do get the best life that I've seen farm animals specifically have. They walked every day, they get fed the best food, um, and they help. I mean, they're just so calm natured because of the energy that is provided to them. It's, uh, it's amazing to see them help and rehabilitate dogs and other animals and even people. Um, so yeah. that's, that's what the Cesar Milan Foundation is. Marty! What were you doing right now, Calvin? You are just putting water in his shell or what? Yeah, I was basically putting water inside his little nooks and crannies. Thanks. Where... <laughs> what do you call him that? It's like, um, it's like a water pick, like a water toothpick. Um, getting out all that uh, stuck hay, dirt, anything that this guy might accumulate inside his little like skin socks. This is one of our male tortoises. What we do with them is now that it's actually sunny, we can take them out and this is how they drink water. This is how they soak. It's called soaking. And so through this, they get uh, their shells treated because they can absorb anything through their shells. Um, and it helps with their growth as well. As you can see, like these, this is all like growth of the tortoise over the years. So it helps kind of just alleviate the itchiness and, and the growth that, that it's going through. Through the shell, they drink water. So underneath, that's why it's so important to soak them. They will drink water on their own, but this just kind of helps hydrate them even more. I hold his hand. Yeah, they're like little, they have like these little elephant feet. I like to hold your hand. They don't, it's, they're not like elephant feet. They are elephant feet. Give me a hand. Technically, they're not elephant feet. <laughs> they're not like bears where they find a den and they go to sleep. They're still active during the winter, but they eat less, they move less, and they burrow in to the dirt. So that's pretty cool. They actually, now that it's about to hit 80 degrees, they're starting to come out. And so you see them be more active and this is like extremely important to do as they come out so that they can rehydrate. You do have to check their little folds and stuff underneath. Sometimes they get ticks. So you have to pull them out. Otherwise you don't see them until the ticks are extremely grown. So yeah, so we'd like to check, check in between their little areas, their little folds, their little head. You'll see it. He'll do this like punch thing and then that means that he's trying to like punch the milk out of his mom's um, milk container. So rude. Honestly, the mom gets beaten up just to feed her child. Goat moms have it rough. Really rough. When people hold the, the skateboard on the buildup for the longest time, it's, and then they never actually get on. They They're just anything. running with the board, just dragging and then for a good minute or two. Yeah, this guy's 21 years old. Today we're gonna go get him a puppuccino. Starbucks, I'm so ready for this. And then he's going to Nobu. We're so. going, he's going to Nobu? Do you want to get him a burger too? Slush puppies. Ooh, sludge puppy? I thought it was food. It is. Slush puppies are um, ices. I thought it was hush puppies. Those are um, potato balls. Calvin, how old were you when you got Coco? Um, I was about five years old. And the first time I saw him, he was in my room. My dad made the mistake. Um, I wouldn't say an amateur mistake. I just felt like he might have gotten busy and he forgot to tell me. He was completely unaware that I went into my room and Coco was on my bed waiting because I think he was in the middle of a training session and he wanted Coco to um, just hang out. Oh, so your dad was training room. Coco? Yes. So that he, took, he brought him home for the board and train. And I saw him on my bed. Um, I pick him up. I put him in my overalls because I felt like that's where he belonged. And he just felt that, you know what I mean? He felt my Conqueror's hockey and he had Conqueror's hockey as well. So it was just, it was just a nice moment. And just like that, like two magnets, we never separated again. How old was he when you got him? He was about three. He was three and mm -hmm. you were five? And I was five. We kept the same name that the ladies uh, gave him. It was the two old, older ladies, older um, people from <laughs> Newport Beach. They and were lesbians? They weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that f***ing 
doesn't matter, Tony. <laughs> I'm not sure about their sexual orientation. I just knew that whatever it was wasn't able to control Coco. Hi. Um, can I get a caramel latte? Mm. Um, let's do ice or can we do blended actually? Okay, so you want to do a caramel frappuccino? Yeah. You, what do you want? Can I get a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Or How sweet is it? Yeah. Knowing him, he's probably going to want a little extra. So okay. can we do extra? Do we want to go up to five or six bumps? Uh, five or six. So four. Is a lot. He said let's do four. Okay. Four is the standard, so. Four is the standard. Five. Five. Okay. Oh my God. Can I get um, one puppuccino? Yeah, this, he's actually the oldest dog. Did I hear that correctly, by the way? You said he was 20? Yeah, 21. 21. 21. Yeah. yeah, today's his... He's legal. That gives me hope. I was yeah. like, I was like, I have chihuahuas at home. Yeah, we're doing Thank tequila you. shots. Yeah. No. Look at these guys. What? Look at... He's oh. 21. No. Favorite memory of Coco, go. Favorite um, memory? <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, I like the beach times. What does he do at the um, I beach? think he literally just wanders to people. That's all he does. And then what else? What do you mean? What does he do at the beach? Um, he, that's literally what he does. So dig and eat the sand. Oh, oh, he does. Yeah, he does. And then his tongue sticks out, so he's all like, yeah, doing that. And then he'll just go up to random strangers, just like shining it up. Or just George around. How many names do we have? Ready? Kobe, John, Johnny, Jacob, um, Gary. Gibson, uh, Marshall, Marshall, Mason, yep. Marcus, there's so many more. Jorgen, Manny, Jordan, Jorgen, Johnson, Johnny, Johnson, <laughs> look at the old man eating his applesauce with the medication. <laughs> you know how they all look, they're all like, he's so excited, his eyes are like exploding. It's <laughs> too much pressure in his eyeballs, he's too excited. <laughs> Glaucoma. My favorite memory of Coco is when um is when I was 17. Um I was working on mutton stuff and I remember that he would just be in my in my trailer and after you know after filming uh, like eight hours, obviously there was breaks in between, but I would come inside the trailer and then I'd see him like completely laid out on like completely laid out on top of the um couch and when I would come in he would hear me right and then he immediately start getting the zoomies because he, he you know he was happy to see me again but um, he, he used to get these really cute ass little zoomies he'd, he'd try to bite me and then um, he'd, he'd dig and yeah you know what he reminds me of? he reminds me of Donkey Kong what? yeah Okay, that's the most random thing ever. Why does he remind you of Donkey Kong? He reminds me of Donkey Kong because he would walk around with that kind of mentality. Like, he would go and, 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 and boss up people that weren't using their bananas right. And I liked it because then he'd do his little ape dance. He'd get the zoomies and then he'd laugh. He'd just he'd know that you couldn't catch him, but obviously I'd catch him. Like, in his head, he's bigger than he really is and it's it's the cutest thing to see it in a small body that kind of mentality donkey kong mentality i like that that was wholesome